What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host Ugo and today we have an unboxing of a bomb from a good buddy of mine, Matt. Uh, story time. So me and Matt, uh, we've been kind of chopping it up back and forth on Instagram. But let's rewind back a few weeks to how it all started. Um, so Matt subscribed to my YouTube and he started commenting on a couple of my videos started and I replied whatever and then I found find out that Matt is actually part of the Legion which is a group that several of, of us on here on YouTube are a part of um, but I didn't know this because Matt wasn't really participating in the in the chat so then when he popped up I was like what the he's the same guy that you know from YouTube so then um, then Matt started his uh, Instagram, uh, which is not, he does, he's not a cigar reviewer, but he just kind of rates cigars. He does a thumb up, thumbs down, um, whether he likes it or not. So when I got my merch, uh, Matt asked in the group chat, hey, can I have a few of your stickers? And I said, yeah, dude. So I got his address, uh, sent him out some stickers. I would have sent them out some cigars at the time, but I was so busy that, you know, I didn't want to make them wait because I was just dealing with all this stuff with the giveaway and, and, and stuff like that. So I just sent them stickers. Um, then, um, you know, he goes out and he buys this Espinosa 601 Warhead uh, X release, which when I saw it, I was like, dude, that's like a sick... Um, case it comes in like it literally like in a warhead shape it looks like those those ones from um, mario world i was like dude that's crazy dude like I, i've been wanting to uh get it but it was sold out online obviously i'm in california he just walked into his brick and mortar and just picked one up like that i was like bro like that's that's crazy we can't never do that in california so um he's like dude i'll send you a stick and then um you know i'll send you uh some other ones you can try and this and that. i was like oh dude i would really appreciate that so um, I guess, you know, there's a warhead in there and, and then some other sticks. Um, so then crazy story, Matt wins my giveaway that I just had this past weekend. And, and we were just laughing about it. I was like, what do you want the giveaway? So I sent him, uh, you know, his giveaway and a few extra cigars and and, I, and he won that hat. And then, uh, but he had, re- he had already told me he was going to send me out something. So let's uh, open it up. By the way, this thing feels kind of heavy for just being cigars. What the hell did you put in here, Matt? Fucking brick. So, all right. Okay. Packaging in here. All right, first thing I see is a note. And <laughs> I think he sent this note in from the future because it says April 31st, 2024. All right, Matt, you send this note from the future. You know uh, Marty McFly and uh, the dog, huh? So there's a little note here. Uh, he said he sent over the cup. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he said he got the stickers. All right, cool. So, crazy story. Um, I think he sent over a handwritten note because personally, whenever I send out cigar bombs or care packages, um, I also send out handwritten notes um, on this engineering type uh, paper, which Roger Working Man Cigars, when I send him over uh, his bomb, he asked me, he's like, dude, are you like an architect or an engineer or something? You send me like on this graphing paper. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm an engineer. So he was tripping out. But yeah, I appreciate the, the, the handwritten notes and note from the future. So, okay, wow. It's a, it's a little box. There's a straw here. I don't know. Let's see. Let me open it. Oh, what, bro? Dude, it's a tumbler with my sticker embedded in it. It's like actually in there. It's like uh, clear coated on there. Bro, this thing looks. And the note he said there's some imperfections, but I don't see any imperfections. It looks flawless to me. 
Oh, and then there's an Espinosa Murcielago on the bottom. I haven't had an Espinosa Murcielago, but that looks that looks cool. And then the color scheme matches. So then I'm assuming, yep, there's cigars inside. Well, that's a good way to package cigars. All right, so. All right, so obviously, you know, this is the cigar that he was gonna send over. It's a 601 Warhead, which is a six by 55 Toro. Have you guys ever heard of a 55 gauge cigar? I haven't. That's crazy. That's what I was like, dude, it's a 55. It's crazy. All right, and then he sent over. Oh, this one, he had told me he's gonna send uh, some of these, which, thank you. Uh, H99 Liga Privada. I um, hadn't had this H99 yet. I heard that they're really good. Um, this one here, I I had it and there's a review coming up on it, but I think this is a Corona Gorda size. I actually smoked the Robusto. So that's gonna be interesting to compare it. And I actually did want to give it a check in chance. Well, I'm not gonna kill my review, but anyway. Um, okay, I had this cigar, the Lebeju. My father, 1922. However, I had it in a box press torpedo, and I love that cigar. It's it was like literally like a chocolate bomb for me. That was a little bit spicy, so it was perfect. Um, I typically I I feel that the parejo formats um, they smoke a lot better than the box press, and this one feels like nice and solid. Damn. Okay, and then we also have. Uh, uh, Pordomo 20th anniversary in Robusto Maduro crazy I have a bunch of uh, Pordomos and they're all Gordos or or Toros Extras whatever you want to call them I have never smoked a Robusto so I'm super excited to smoke one in this Vitola because I want to see what the difference is these are you know Nick he likes his cigars spicy dude and I kind of get those notes from the other ones. I'm curious to see what uh, those. Dude, I literally, I just bought a box of these Oliva V's. Um, actually, oh, but this might be the, what is it? The Sumatras. I bought the uh, Maduros. I don't think this is a Maduro one. I, mean, I have to ask him. I bought a whole box of the, um, the Maduros. And obviously there's a Bovita pack in here. But dude, Matt, man, this is, bro. This is so cool, man. I appreciate this very much. See, it's, it's like things like this that it makes the cigar community like so, so um, welcoming. And, you know, just it makes it so fun to be in. Like people sending you gifts like this, bro. I do. I freaking appreciate this very much. So, guys, um, that's all I have. By the way, if you've had the new um, the Warhead. Um, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think. I think Matt liked it. He said he likes bold and kind of spicy cigars. Um, so let me know what your experience was with it. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, turn on your notifications um, to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.